Greetings, dear friends. I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Volkswagen Transporter T5. I would love to say that the transporter transmission is as reliable as anything else, but unfortunately the high load and high mileage clearly prove that the manual transmission of good series is not at all infinite and the splines and CV joints can wear out and the automatic transmission also has its limit. On the prevailing front wheel drive versions, after a run of 150 to 100,000 km, the splines of the drive shafts can be worn out. Basically, the intermediate shaft suffers, more precisely, its eternal splines connecting it to a small shaft of the box and the splines of the small shaft in common parlance pick. Shaft pump, unsuccessful boot, corrosion, accumulation of a gap in this unit and high torque over time knock the splines down almost the entire length. Correct repair is carried out with the replacement of the ring shaft assembly and the gearbox shaft. Unfortunately, there are other options for restoring the unit. For example, one popular method is to drill and thread through holes in the intermediate shaft cage. The shaft of the box, clamped in this way, can travel several tens of thousands of kilometers, which is quite enough to have time to sell the car. And for reliability, they can also grab it a little by welding, after which you will have to work with a grinder to remove the shaft. The shaft will no longer be able to get out of the box, it is fixed there with a bolt or an internal hexagon. However, in addition to the right shaft, both the outer splines in the hub and the left shaft suffer, but these problems are less common. There were several series of manual transmissions. On cars before styling, there were mainly 5-speed gearboxes, for example FJK, LRS, QWM, MAG. After 2009, they staged mostly 6 steps, for example JWB, KPE. The complete list of designations for MCP modifications is large and consists of more than 50 codes, but the differences between them are minimal. 5-speed gearboxes, which were installed mainly with low-power motors, have several vulnerabilities. Over time, the rear bearing of the input shaft fails, damaging the seat in the housing and contaminating the box with wear products. The differential is also at risk. It grabs the satellites, which is why the shaft breaking the body comes out of it. You can also break the reverse gears, so you should not sharply reverse on the T5. Another major problem for T5 owners was the dual-mass flywheels. After a run of 200-300,000 km, it starts knocking, and if you handle the clutch carelessly, you can break its body. Along the way, the debris will smash the gearbox housing and starter. It will not work to weld it, but you can put a flywheel from T4 and a clutch with a damper, but then you should not abuse the movement on the highway at speeds less than 1500. When buying a flywheel, you need to listen and also check it for oil leaks. While the clutch itself is quite reliable, withstanding more than 100,000 is almost guaranteed, but it's not cheap. True, if the diesel fuel equipment is faulty and it doesn't pull, then the clutch can be burned faster, especially if the throttling insert hasn't been removed in the drive, which slows down its activation. The automatic transmission ICN TF61SC performed well on passenger cars, but it worked even better on the bus. Here the cooling system was performed at a much more serious level. A large plate heat exchanger was installed with diesel engines. The gasoline and gasoline cars with 3.2 liter engines relied on a large separate automatic transmission radiator, with which during normal operation it has practically no chance of overheating. The same radiator could be obtained by cars in special versions with diesel engines and inversions for hot climates. When changing the oil at least once every 60,000, the first bells appear only after 300-350,000 km. Let me remind you that inversion with a small heat exchanger and a thermostat on gasoline engines with a volume of 1.8 3.2 liters on passenger cars, this automatic transmission begins to twitch after hundreds of thousands of kilometers and shows other signs of fatigue of the hydraulic unit. And on the transporter a couple of times, powered copies can have runs for half a million in urban conditions and more than 700,000 on the highway. After restyling, the car received at its disposal the coolest pre-selected box of the DQ500 series, 7-speed oil batch clutch, the one that will then be put on the Golf R in tandem with the 280 horsepower engine. Now this robot is offered on weaker motors, since its resource is much higher than that of the related DQ250. The DQ500 was created in 2009, taking into account the mistakes of the DQ250, and even on the first T5 and the T5 became the first car with this box, it didn't cause total troubles, so you should not be afraid of them. But to reduce the likelihood of failures, it is advisable to attend to the firmware update, 
frequent oil and filter changes, and periodic flushing of the Mechatronics filters. The box is very expensive to repair. Fortunately, the Mechatronic is now repayable, and they have already learned how to restore the mechanical part. But given that the mileage of 9-year-old car can turn out to be well over 300,000, I would advise you to check the box very carefully, since the diagnostics can tell you a lot of interesting things. The list of engines for the transporter T5 is huge, with Tesla's leading the list. But there are a few gasoline engines. Before installing atmospheric 2-liter engines of the AXA series and 3.2-liter BDL series, after installing the VR6, was replaced with TSI engines of the CJKB CJKA series with a capacity of 150 and 204 horsepower. Diesel engines T5 received many times more. The most common engines before installing are 1.9-liter engines of the BRR. AXC BRS AXB series with the output of 84 105 horsepower supercharged. More powerful engines are presented by the 2.5 liter 5 cylinder series AXD BNZ AX BPC. After installing, the line of diesel engines was replaced by 2 liter EA 189 series engines with direct electronic injection. The CAAA, CAAB, CAAD, CAAC, CAAH and twin turbo CFCA motors provided a power range from 84 to 180 horsepower. All motors in this series, even the Yannis, are also supercharged. The layout of the engine compartment is very tight, but there are no serious obstacles even for servicing the VR6. If there is no excess from above, then it is from below, since the engine compartment is wide enough. The main troubles are the vulnerability of the radiators, the long lengths of the interior heating system lines, diesel vibrations and the loosening of numerous oil in vacuum lines over time. Well, the age, of course. Over time, even the pipes of the cooling systems, their clamps and brackets corrode. The second problem is the corrosive masses of the electrical system. After about 10 years of operation and 250,000 mileage, the deterioration of contact can begin to create problems, but really troubles appear with noticeably large mileage. This mainly affects the operation of gasoline engines, which because of this may experience interruptions in the operation of the engine management system. Diesels, especially pre-stalling ones with unit injectors, are almost insensitive to such problems. The aging of the rubber components of the cooling system begins to affect mainly at a large age. The mileage is not so important here. But on cars 10 years old and older, it is highly recommended not to forget to change the anti-freezing time and fill in the strictly recommended formulations. It happened that from a cheap antifreeze of an unknown manufacturer, the cooling system simply fell to pieces. By the way, leaks of the main radiator and heater radiators are also encountered quite often, and this is rather the consequences of runs. The intake on all engines has an extremely negative attitude to the flow of oil from the ventilation system and the turbine. In addition, here on all engines, including diesel ones, there is a mass airflow sensor for the control system, and its pollution greatly affects the capabilities of the engine and fuel consumption. Diesel engines do not differ in the endurance of the engine mounts. They die especially quickly when problems with the fuel equipment appear. Kilt supports transmit vibrations to the body, as a result of which the car not only loses its comfort. The interior suffers from shaking, the hoses of the cooling system, the engine compartment, and in general all attachments wear out faster. In principle, engine mounts on old cars are consumables and with a short replacement interval of an only 30-40,000 km. At high mileage, you will have to resolve issues with DPF filters, which were installed on all Euro 4 and higher diesel engines. If you take a car with it, be prepared for the fact that it will either have to be removed or replaced or drilled. A mileage of more than 300,000 is almost a verdict for this unit, and the first problems may appear during urban operation already in the first 100,000 of mileage. The most common engines, the 1.9 liter EA 188 8 turbo diesel engines of the AXC, BRR, AXB, and BRS series, are very reliable. The main problems they have are servicing the pump injectors, camshaft seizures, camshaft plugs flying out, seizures of rockers and injector cams. The timing belt drive is quite reliable, the design is well worked out, and if you do not force the motor beyond measure, it can be considered a real millionaire. But when problems arise with the fuel equipment, pistons and liners may crack. With runs of more than 350,000, the cylinder head often requires repair of the valves, installation of injectors and valve bushings, and sometimes cracks appear in the cooling jacket. If during operation there were problems with oil pressure, it may be necessary to restore the camshaft beds. 
and the scuffing of the camshafts themselves is easy to get due to the slightest problems with oil pressure, overheating or oil dilution with diesel fuel. Therefore, it is often recommended to keep slightly increased revolutions which reduces the chances of seizures due to some excessive consumption of fuel. But the best thing is to just use high quality oil, change it more often and put a pressure gauge in the oil line. The owner's negative attitude to the pump injectors is quite justified. A new part costs about 47,000 rubles, high quality restored parts are a rarity, especially with the guarantee. But with proper maintenance the engine can outlive the car and when it and even if it breaks down completely, then everything is decided by inexpensive used units with Gulf and Passat. But the 2.5 liter engines of the AXC, AX, BNZ and BPC series are completely different. Of the general, perhaps the same two valves per cylinder and the ill-fated pump section pump, of which there are already five. At first glance, the design is almost perfect. Here, even the timing is not chain or belt, but with a guitar, a gear drive of the injection pump and the upper camshaft. But beside the problem with the fuel equipment, there is an unpleasant trick in the cylinder block. It is aluminum here, and plasma spray was used to strengthen the sleeves. Over time, due to corrosion and mechanical stress, the coating begins to peel off and scuffs appear. High sulfur diesel fuel and lubrication problems are especially harmful to the motor. The problems with the camshafts are exactly the same as those of the 1.9 liter diesels. But in this engine, all contamination is also caused by problems with the coating of the cylinders. As a result, the motor received the fame of not the most reliable Volkswagen engine and even perhaps a more problematic one. However, many motors have traveled more than half a million kilometers and haven't yet collapsed. So here, how lucky? Well, if you are not lucky, you will have to put cast iron liners or look for a cylinder block in unused ones. Usually, they are installed from the first generation pre-styling Touareg, which as a rule have lower mileage and better service. Another feature of the motor is the increased noise due to the applied timing drive scheme. Gears begin to hum with age, and since it is difficult to endure factory setting accuracy, repairs are usually useless. After running from 350,000, the owners just gradually get used to the fact that the engine is not only diesel but also has its own characteristic sound. The EA189 family engines are based on the same engine block as the 1.9 liter engines, but they have a new cylinder head and a different injection system. And as a result, there are no problems with the lubrication and with pump nozzles. True, DPF filters are already installed here for all motors without exception, but this is not too scary. The main problems of the engine are typical diesel ones. The injection pump here is not eternal and but maintainable. The injectors are reliable, but the intake of EGR are contaminated. The turbines on these engines are well loaded and therefore fail more often than on older diesel engines. And their cost is higher. On the most powerful versions, they have variable geometry and the most powerful versions of the motor has two turbines. But in general, this is an amazing case when the new motor is more reliable than the old ones. Do not confuse this engine with a 2-liter diesel engine with BD unit injectors which were not installed on the transporter. There, the cylinder head was cracking and the pistons were burning. Only the second generation EA189 C engines with electromagnetic injectors without intake flaps were installed on the transporter. Of the serious problems, only the oil pump drive on early cars. But considering the mileage of engines on the transporter, the chances of finding a car with a non-upgraded unit are zero. The main enemy of motors is chip tuning. Unsuccessfully chip engines tend to crack pistons due to excess EGT, exhaust gas temperature, and turbines. When tuning younger versions, seriously lose their resource. Overall, this is the most reliable engine for this car, and the chances of finding one with moderate mileage are the highest. On this information about the problems of Volkswagen Transport RT5 is exhausted. If you know more or do not agree with what you heard, I'm waiting for you in the comments.